Welcome back, this is the Amajack, and uh, today we got Commando Verticality Suicidal. I know that it's the Infernal Insurrection stuff, and we should do Hellmark Station, but I want to do the minigun, and I tried it. It wasn't very good, unless you had like a, a single stance that you could kind of defend, so that's what we're going to do here. Um, I would have uploaded anyway, the, the Hellmark Station one that I recorded, uh, but like, Killing floor crashed, and then I couldn't get it back open, and I had to restart my computer, and it was a whole thing. And uh, it's just a major pain in the butt, really. So, unfortunately, that episode, my first experience with the minigun, my first experience with Hellmark Station, there were some good moments in there, you know, some good uh, opportunities as I discovered new things, and genuine surprise and excitement as I as I learned and saw the new skins and all this kind of stuff. You know, it was it was good stuff as as we, we learned and 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 kind of finagled our way through the the start of it, but unfortunately the game crashed. My computer just kind of pooped out on me and uh, it's, it's gone now, so. But, hey, you know, it, uh, it is what it is. Uh, we, we start anew and, and we get to hop right into it. So, we've got uh, four new weapons today from, uh, from, from, from the new update. We've got four new weapons, a new map, the Hellish Station or whatever is the new map, and then we have for the weapons, we have the minigun. Uh, we have uh, we have uh, the mine reconstructor. We have the HRG scorcher, and then I don't remember what the other HRG weapon is. I really just don't remember. An arc generator, I think. I think it's the arc generator. Not sure. So the thing with the minigun is it weighs ten. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to keep the AR-15. It's not a very good weapon, but, like, this is what we can carry, <laughs> you know? Like, this is this is what we've got. So it uh, kind of sucks, but, I mean, hey, you know? If this, if this is what we got, then this is what we got. You know, we'll take it. Um, bad though it may be, this is, this, is, this is what we get to live with, so. We'll take it. It's fine. It's not that bad, but... Uh, definitely uh, undesired, you know, given that I, I like to start off with the, the M16, M203. Having a nice little grenade launcher right off the bat. It's my personal preference, of course, but hopefully we just don't get too many flush pounds or scrakes or anything like that coming up in this uh, this first little wave here with the where they could spawn. They don't have to, but they, they could spawn here. And I'm just hoping for the best. So, how's today going for me? I think today is going pretty darn good, honestly. Well, sort of. I think today's going kind of pretty darn good. Um, because I woke up at 4.30 this morning. Yeah, we, uh, you know, I'm going, I'm going full on on the waking up early to start recording. No, I, uh, god, I just, too many, too many crawlers. Okay, so you just shoot it out your, you just, you just shoot it out your chest, eh? Cool beans. Like, I just, I can't shoot these guys. Like, their, their skins are just messing with me, man. I just don't like their new skins. I never like new skins in general. But anyway, I woke up at 4.30 this morning. Please tell me I can afford to... Not... Not, not well. Well, whatever. We'll just sell this. We're not gonna... We're not gonna have troubles once we have this now. I woke up at 4.30. And, uh... Yeah, I, just, I couldn't fall back asleep. I went to bed at, like, 10 o'clock last night. So it was actually a decent amount of sleep. But not, not as much as I would, uh, as I would like. But it was, it was, you know, it was acceptable, anyway. Um, so this thing, you have to, like, kind of, like, wind it up, and then it moves around really, really slowly. You don't really have the ability to, to maneuver. I can't, like, do a full 180 or whatever. It's quite slow to to move it after you've kind of moused in there. Very, very slow. But, I mean, hey, such is life, right? It's fun. <laughs> it is fun to just unload bullets, but uh, because you can't really, like, when you're firing, I can't really, like, move the mouse around so much, you know? Like, that's 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 how long it takes. Like, that's... Those are full mouse pad-like movements, right? Like, normally it would do like this, you know? Like, that's how much of a difference it, it actually makes to the uh, the ability to, um, to, 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 to change where you're looking at. It's quite an enormous difference. Um, so if you're standing, you have to, like, do two things at once. Just, no. 
takes a while to load up. You gotta like, you gotta have like one spot that you can just rack up a whole bunch of Zeds and then just unload, you know? Without without this kind of uh, without this kind of thing, it's just it's not working very well. You can mouse in, which is kind of oh, you can mouse in. It actually keeps it. Okay, that's actually like really really good. You can actually mouse. You can actually like right mouse button to like zoom in, and it keeps it keeps it running without uh, having to. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. I uh, I understand this a little bit better now. I can accept it now, cause I was having a lot of troubles with it before, and I thought it was kind of just a bad weapon, unless you had like a party or like a single hold zone kind of thing, like what we got going on here. But it's actually not that bad if you if you're able to sort of hold this down and then kind of just pop some heads as you go. This actually works pretty well. I like this, cause you can just kind of pop, pop, pop. <laughs> You got some flesh pounds, dude. What, what do you what do you would do about flesh pounds? It's simple. You first reload, then you wind this up, and you go whoa. Okay, we uh, we really have this. This is the problem with it, right? Is that. Uh, once you have to, to reload or anything like that, like, it's just kind of GG, you know? It's just kind of GG. Because it takes forever to reload it. So you really need, like, a, a group to kind of, like, protect you as you're reloading. Because otherwise, like, it's, it's pretty... Pretty gosh darn brutal to, to be reloading. It does kind of mess stuff up though. When when you're able to, to like when it pops, it pops. You know, it's definitely not a bad weapon. It's just uh, situationally good and situationally. You know, if it's not good, it's terrible. But if it's good, it's 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 like what you want. You know, when it's good, it, it's exactly what you're looking for. When it's not good, it, it's just it's garbage. Because you really do just unload. You really do, you know? I don't know how it's going to do against the boss. I, I fully expect death. Just just filling you in on that one. Death is what I expect to have happen here. I do not expect us to be able to pull out a victory against a boss uh, with the minigun. I, I, I fully 100% expect not to be able to do that unless we get like maybe the matriarch you know like maybe abomination I don't know I don't know if we're gonna be like I, I don't know because you just you can't move <laughs> you are stationary basically which is super super bad I, mean, I guess it's kind of gonna Annihilate his little minion boys, his little poops, but it's either gonna wreck him or it's gonna we're gonna get wrecked. You know, it's one or the other. There there is no there is no room for for both to happen here. We either we either annihilate or we get annihilated. You know? And uh, so far, I don't know. I still think it could kinda go either way. Although at this point in time I'm thinking Suicidal at least. Pretty pretty gosh darn good against fighting the abomination. Hell on earth, I don't know. I don't know if we'd be able to, be able to, to trivialize him that well, but uh, for suicidal anyway, it did it did a pretty pretty bang up job. You can't even you can't even like reload cancel it like I tried to there. Yeah you can't. What if what if it's like here? I can't really check. We'll do another run. We'll do another run. Okay, we'll check out all the stats. Look at that. Wow. We'll do another run. Just the two runs today. You know, when I was, when I was up so early, I was half tempted to, like, start recording and then give myself Friday off, basically. I'd have to stream still, but, like, just get all of Friday's recording done today as well. And then uh, I wouldn't have to record. 
kind of have like a long weekend, you know? Uh, I decided against that, just because uh, so we're not going to upgrade the... Unless we maybe get like a ton of money, but like I don't, I don't really see how we're going to get a ton of money, so... Um, I kind of was half tempted to do it, you know, just get get all the recording done for the Friday as well, and then and then take a kind of long weekend. But I figured, at the end of the day, I still have to stream, and it's kind of going to be cutting into my uh, my day anyway. So like, no matter what I do, I kind of have to uh, kind of kind of stuck with um, like working on that day. You know, I can't I can't get out of that. <laughs> there there is no avoiding it. Uh, and I'm like, whatever. I don't, I don't mind the, like, three hours or whatever that I have to spend recording. Um, yeah, it's not not a big deal. I did uh, Gunfire Reborn today instead of Yamashak Try, so I was going to plan on doing that anyway, so that's not really... Basically what I'm saying is I woke up early and then I, I did nothing with all that extra time that I had. I didn't even, I basically didn't even start recording until it was time to record anyway. Like, my alarm went off to wake me up in the, the first video that I ended up recording today. Which was funny. But, I mean, it's fine, right? It's fine. Let me down. Let me down. Time's up. Go kill some Zeds. It's fine. It's nice being up early, honestly. I got to, I did some, some RuneScape before I uh, started recording. We'll be doing some RuneScape on stream today, so I'm not super pressured into getting too much done in it, but I got uh, a little bit done. You know, it's got the, the boss that I need to be able to fight today, today only. Not today, but, like, currently, anyway, for the time being. It's available for, for fighting, so I wanted to, to try and get as much of that done as I could, and I had a nice hour free this morning, so I had a few hours free, but I only did one hour. The rest of it I spent reading. I don't think I'm going to make it a habit to get up at 4 a.m. I don't think it's really my preferred method of, uh, of handling things, but it's uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't all that bad either, so... It's, uh, I'm not I'm not complaining about it. I am tired though is the thing. So if I wanted to if I wanted to be getting up at 4 a.m. like for sure, thing that's got to happen is uh, it's got to be like a planned thing, you know. Like, I have to get up at 4:30 and like go to bed any time to get up at 4:30. I went to bed at like 10:30, which is is a decent amount of sleep, but not not enough. I would rather go to bed at like 8:30 and then that's you know do I really want to be going to bed at 8:30? Not at, even a little bit, no. So you know. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sell that because I don't really care about. I mean, I think you save money if you don't. I think if you keep it, you you do save a little bit of money. But I'm I'm kind of like, you know what? You know what saves me money? Killing stuff. The minigun's fun. I like the minigun. I'm having fun with it. So I don't think it's a very good weapon for solo play. We'll probably not use it very much outside of this video. Like this video, we will be using it a lot. And then outside of this video, it's, it's probably not going to see much use for me, personally. In, in solo runs, I, I really just... I, I, I still think... I stand by my decision to say that it's not very good. Um, in solo. Like, I'd be doing much better with an M16, M203, basically, right? Like, just straight up. With an M16, M203, we would be clearing these things out much, much easier. Well, not necessarily clearing them out easier, but... Um, you just you reload fast, you know? I guess what I could maybe go for is like reload speed on the perks. I don't know. What am I currently using anyway? Or maybe ammunition capacity? You know, if you never have to reload, then the reload speed doesn't matter. But like, this is just brutal. And then it takes a while before you can even start shooting again, you know? It's really just, it's brutal. It feels really, really bad. Until you're working it, and then it feels like just so good. See so what do we got? What do we got for perks? Increased reload speed. Well, I don't know. Fifty percent mag capacity is pretty sick, right? I don't know. Reload speed is probably better though. And then magazine capacity over perk over damage. Sure. Let's go for the meme build. You know. Well, this isn't quite the meme build, but. I mean, 180 bullets, we lose 30% damage, but we have to reload so much less frequently. I think it's a fair trade. I think, I think I like that trade. 
I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Maybe it sucks. But getting faster reloads and reloading less frequently, I think, is going to be well worth it, personally. Because most of the time, we're, we're, we're like, most of the stuff doesn't really need to be damaged anyway so much, you know? If you just shoot stuff, then it dies, right? Just, just shoot them a whole bunch of times, and then they, they die. Yeah, we still have more bullets than we normally started with, basically, right? Yes, this damage is, is perfectly acceptable. You're not going to see me complaining about it. Ooh, that reload is sick, too. That reload is sick. Okay, this guy's got to go, so... That's a sick reload, though. I likes it. I likes it. That's fast. That makes this feel yes. This, this, this is the perks that you want to use for this. Okay, this weapon, these perks, hundred percent, one hundred percent. This is so much better. Like just reloading so much less frequently, and then it's so much faster. It's just, I can't, I can't explain to you how much nicer it is. It, it's just. Night and day, really is. I could use this gun in like a solo match happily. I wouldn't even feel bad about it. Like this, this is the, like it goes from being, it's okay, you know, to like, no, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm having a blast. This, this is really, really good. And that's just uh, just changing those couple of perks there. Just makes such a huge difference. Just just having all that extra ammunition and and, and damage output. It's huge. It's huge. So Matriarch, I think it's going to be not trivial, but doable, at least. Let's precharge this up. I think the Matriarch should be fairly doable. Just have to pop her shield real quick here. Pop her shield, I said. Pop her shield, I said. And then destroy. <laughs> yeah, okay, the minigun is pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you, the minigun is pretty good. It's got a lot of damage output. A lot of damage output. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, this gun is like ridiculously strong. Jeez. And you can just kind of like tap fire as you're turning around to, to kind of get rid of that issue with the... Um... No, this gun's really good. The minigun, super good. Like it. Just, just make sure you use the right perks, otherwise it's not very fun. I mean, it's fun, but it's not very good. You know, and it goes from being fun but bad to fun and like really good if you just get the right perks on it. Anyway, I had a blast with the minigun. This was fun. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.